Good afternoon, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again back for your second video blog of the day for Monday, September 22nd, 2014, around 5.03 p.m. in Bellacom, Massachusetts. Nice and sunny day. Highs around 70 today. Got a little breeze and only five more hours into the first until fall of 2014, I hear some news to report. The Atlanta Braves just fired Frank Wen as their general manager. John Hart's taken on an interim basis. The Braves have been very disappointing. They had second half free fall out of a playoff position and probably going to be under 500 to finish the season. That's not good. And also 17 years ago today, Bill Goldberg started his undefeated streak in WCW when he beat Penn U. Morris on Monday Night Troll. That's about it on news. My next subject will be a two-part video blog because it's this is going to cover a lot of stuff. It is about the famous Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Vince McMahon feud which catapulted the WWE into being top of its game during this feud. It was the best pro wrestling feud of all time. It was the best feud ever. Also, in addition, it was the signature thing that people watch Monday night on Monday Night Raw for many, many months in, during the Attitude Area. Stone Cold Steve Austin feuded with his boss, Vince McMahon. The background of this feud started in September of 1997 when Stone Cold Steve Austin was attacking WWE officials after he was stripped of the WWE Tag Team Championships. He got, he Stone Cold, his best friend in the world, Jim Ross, after he had a forfeit the WWE Tag Team Championships with, with Dude Love. He gave um, Jim Ross to Stunner and then the next night on Raw he gave WWE Commissioner Sergeant Schlatter's to Stunner after he had a 450 WWE Intercontinental Championship. And Stone Cold's next target was Vince McMahon, who was a commentator back then. He was the voice of the WWE for 25 years. And Stone Cold had a neck injury that was delivered to him by through a tombstone pile driver by Owen Hart at SummerSlam 1997, which temporarily caused Stone Cold Steve Austin to paralyze. Temporary paralysis, but he recovered. But the doctors wouldn't clear him to wrestle, so he was going crazy. And then the next week on Raw, he gives the Stone Cold Stunner to Jerry the King Lala. And then on September 22nd, 1997, at Madison Square Garden on Monday Night Raw, Stone Cold Steve Austin interferes and attacks Owen Hart after Owen Hart's match. And then the police come in, but Vince McMahon gets out of his announcing chair and says, Hey, 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 let me handle this, let me handle this, let me handle this. And he tells Austin, pleading, pleading with Austin, please do not do this again. And he said, we want you to wrestle, but with you 100% and the doctors cleared. If you wrestle, you could, you could get a, you could hurt yourself, get permanent paralyzed, be in the wheelchair. And then Stone Cold says, thanks for caring. He says, the WWE could kiss my ass. He gives Vince McMahon a stunner of the world. First time that was a stunner to Vince McMahon. And the way Vince reacted was like this. And good old JR says, that says when Austin was being handcuffed, Austin's going to jail! Austin's going to directly to jail! That was real great. Next week on Raw, like Sto that Vince McMahon says he was going to terminate Stone Cold Steve Austin if he didn't follow the rules. And then the next, the next Raw, he signs, uh, he says there was a waiver that Stone Cold had to sign it to face Owen Hart for the Intercontinental Championship at Survivor Series 1997 and Stone Cold signs the wave and Vince McMahon signs the wave and then Stone Cold offers Vince McMahon they shake hands and then and Stone Cold says I could have gave you a stunt just like that and on this and they don't don't they don't have a little like argument for a few few weeks or so and Survivor Series 1997 was when 
Vince McMahon screwed Bret Hart, and Vince McMahon did not return to the announce booth. So that set the plans for Vince McMahon to become a heel, the evil Mr. McMahon. And it started the, 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 the Stone Cold Vince McMahon feud. It continued on on the, on the December 8th, 1997 edition of Monday Night Raw from Portland, Maine, when Stone Cold was supposed to wrestle The Rock, but the last segment Stone Cold wasn't in his wrestling gear. He was in his, he was in like his jeans and t-shirt. And then he said to v Vince McMahon, I'm going to forfeit the Intercontinental Continental Championship because I have bigger flips to fly. He says, and then he gives the WWE IC title to The Rock, and then The Rock accepts it, and Vince McMahon says, ladies and gentlemen, the new WWE Intercontinental Champion, The Rock. And then Stone Cold <laughs> gives The Rock the stunner, and then he says, you DTA, don't trust anybody. And then I'll take the belt and show it what I'm going to do with it. And then to, to, afterwards, like, Stone Cold, like, runs the rope and bumps Vince McMahon right off the ring apron. And Vince McMahon was going through a po profanity. <laughs> and then, like, after I went off the air on the next week's highlight show of Superstars, Vince McMahon had a chair he was, and he was, he and, he and Stone Cold were going to duke it out. But it never happened. Several weeks later, when Stone Cold wins the 1998 Royal Rumble, a special guest was there. Former boxing world champion Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson was going to be involved in WrestleMania 14 at the TD Garden in Boston. And Stone Cold wins the Royal Rumble. Mike Tyson was cheering from the luxury box. The next night on Raw, Vince McMahon and Mike Tyson's representatives was de down. And and like and like, Vince McMahon was gonna say, "Hey, on March 29th, 1998, Mike Tyson will be in this." And Stone Cold music, Stone Cold music plays. Stone Cold comes down. A whole bunch of WWE officials come come down, and he was saying, he was saying, "Yeah, Miley now, Miley now," and then and then Stone Cold gives. Uh, Mike Tyson, the the middle fingers, and then Austin pushes Stone Cold. Um, Tyson pushes Austin, and Austin tries beats up one of Mike Tyson the fit fish. I mean security guards or something. And Vince McMahon says, "You ruined it! You ruined it! You ruined it! Damn it! You ruined it! They were gonna they were gonna fight <laughs> there. They were gonna fight, but a lot of the officials broke it up. And then several weeks later." Around like March, when like Mike Tyson joined DX with Shawn Michaels and Triple H for that group, and Shawn Michaels was wrestling Stone was slated to wrestle Stone Cold for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 14, and Mike Tyson joined DX. The next weekend on Raw, um, there was an interview that Stone Cold requested Vince McMahon to come down, and he was getting mad. He was saying. This and that, and this, and next thing you know, Vince um, Stone Cold Steve Austin whips the sport coat off, off off of Vince McMahon, and then the next a couple hours later, Kevin Kelly interviews Vince McMahon, saying it would be a disaster if Stone Cold won the WWE Championship. And he says, he says, oh, hell no. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold, because Vince McMahon said so. Stone Cold Steve Austin beat Shawn Michaels for the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 14 with the stone, stunner. And Jim Ross said, Stone Cold, Stone Cold, Stone Cold. And then the next night on Raw, like Vince McMahon comes with the WWE Championship belt and he says, if you could work within this, you could do this the easy way, or we could do it the hard way. And guess what Stone Cold took? The hard way. He gives Vince McMahon a stunner, and then again, he's handcuffed. The next week on Raw, Vince McMahon comes down and says, we have a, we have a, we're changing Stone Cold Steve Austin had a change of heart. He's now a corporate guy. He's dressed up in a suit and tie. 
guy and stuff like that. He was saying he was in jail. He was thinking that he wants to work within the system and stuff like that. And then there's a picture that him and Vince McMahon take with the with the championship belt, and then Stone Cold Steve Austin says, get the film developed because this is the absolute last time you'll ever see me with this. And then next thing you know, Stone Cold slaps Vince McMahon like that. On April 13th, 1998, um, Vince McMahon, Stone Cold Vince, Stone Cold challenged Vince McMahon to a match on Raw, and many people were talking Vince McMahon out of it, including good old JR. But I think deep down inside, Jim Ross really wanted Stone Cold to beat him. But like then they accept the match, and when the last Raw seg the last segment on Raw, Stone Cold was wrestling with Vince McMahon for the WWE Championship, and Vince McMahon slaps Stone Cold Austin in the face, and he wanted to. Beat him with one t arm tied behind his back. He went for the stunner arm and once said, we're going to wrestle. So Stude Love comes down and interrupts the match and puts the mandible claw on Stone Cold Steve Austin. And then, like, soon Matt, um, Dude Love was associated with Vince McMahon and then they had a few, match few matches at pay-per-views and... Vince McMahon was a special guest referee for that match at Over the Edge and the, for the WWE Championship between Stone Cold Steve Austin and Dude Love. And Stone Cold Steve Austin pinned um, Dude Love, I mean Dude Love, and he grabbed Vince McMahon's arms one, two, three. And it continued on more and more crazy stuff over the months. Of more jaw jacking. Vince McMahon has other pan pick challenges to face Stone Cold Steve Austin, including Kane. Kane actually beat Stone Cold Steve Austin for the WWE Championship belt at King of the Ring 1998. But then Stone Cold wins it the next night on Raw. And then there's more stuff. He faces off against The Undertaker at SummerSlam 98. And then Stone Cold beats The Undertaker, then Undertaker and Kane are aligned with Mr. McMahon, and then they beat um, Vince McMahon at, I mean, Stone Cold Steve Austin at Breakdown and stuff like that. And then there was no WWE champion, and next night on Raw, Vince McMahon was going to award the belt to Stone Cold, to, to either The Undertaker or Kane, but Stone Cold has a Zamboni, comes down, and attacks Vince McMahon, and, and puts him in hand, they put him in handcuffs again, he says, I ain't flew with you, Vince, not by a long shot. And the next day, later on, like, The Undertaker and Kane broke Vince McMahon's leg because they, they didn't have, they didn't give him the championship belt, and then the next week on uh, a skit when Vince McMahon's in the hospital, he was uh, there was a, a doctor, and a doctor was still going to be Vince McMahon. <laughs> and then the next week on Raw, Vince McMahon comes back. He was in a wheelchair, and he has one of his expensive cars. And then Stone Cold comes in. He has a dump truck. <laughs> a dump truck with concrete. He puts the concrete in it, and then the thing explodes. <laughs> oh, God. It's funny. It's funny. And also... Stone Cold was there to, um, for like the, the October 1998 pay-per-view between The Undertaker and Mankind, a special guest referee. And if Stone Cold didn't do the right thing, he would be fired by the WWE by Vince McMahon. And that's the end of this part one of the Austin McMahon feud. I'll be back in a few minutes for part two. See you later, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.